Supporting RTNVF and the First Amendment is probably the, one of the highest callings that you can have in this profession. Over the years, formats change, stations change, things change, but the one thing that's constant through everything are the words that are in the First Amendment and are things that guide us and help us do our jobs better. The First Amendment is what makes our democracy different from any other democracy. Other countries have freedom of the press, but they are limited by laws. Uh, only our country has a press that government is not supposed to limit. And so that's why it's so important to defend that really precious right. Well, I really am a very strong believer in the future of broadcast journalism lies in the hands of children and the future of democracy democracy lies in the hands of children. And that is why I went to the Republic of Georgia to teach them how to do a news program that was objective and was able to report the events of what was happening in that country from the perspective of children. And in the very first program that we did, we had the Minister of Education for Georgia come on and answer questions from the children about why is education important, and uh, it was a wonderful uh, program. Well, because I grew up in this business supporting RTNDA and RTNDF, and we need them badly, and we need to keep them going and make them grow and be part of our lives. And without the First Amendment, our life would be one big blog, and I don't think I'd be a very happy guy. My life is the First Amendment. I mean, I work with kids. That's all I do all day long is answer questions from college kids and high school kids about First Amendment and censorship questions. So, uh, uh, you know, this is very near and dear to my heart. And any organization that's involved in training young people, promoting the well-being of the industry, you know, that's what we all need to be about now. And so RTNDF is a great organization. And I just, you know, I, 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 I really hope that they succeed and thrive and anything we can do to support them, we should. Well, as the uh, president and CEO of the National Association of Broadcasters, it's important that we support people in the broadcast industry. We have lots and lots of people who are reporters, investigators, news people, sports people, who are all members of your great association who are in our business. And particularly in these kind of difficult economic times, it's important for us to support people who are in our business. Notwithstanding the whole First Amendment issue, which we are very passionate about, uh, because America is uh, a shining star in the world because it's strong support for First Amendment freedoms. Well, I mean, I think obviously uh, the First Amendment is, is you know, critically important for making sure that journalists here in Washington in particular have the ability to be watchdogs. I think that uh, you know, that's an incredibly important role. And that, you know, that watchdog, that watchdog uh, function is something that only the press can really assert. Uh, the Consumer Electronics Association supports the RTNDF because we believe that an educated media is vital to the smooth functioning of our government and our country. And we are proud to support an organization that ensures that the media have a full and fair opportunity to provide information to the American public. The Consumer Electronics Association supports the RTNDF and we salute the RTNDA for all of its great work. I retired, but I was involved with newspaper and education, with the First Amendment, having to do to teach kids as much as you could. Uh, we're honoring Carol Lang tonight, who has been a high school teacher and a fabulous curriculum developer over the years. And the uh, Student Press Law Center I've been involved with, there's nothing more important for young people to learn than their right to speak. And, well, you know, I benefit because although I think what was said tonight about the importance of straight reporting and editing, uh, the ability to speak your mind based upon that is extraordinary. Pretty much unlimited. And, um, I mean, in some countries, I'd be in jail. I mean, I was so tough when Bill Clinton had begun involved with his embarrassment. I was so tough when uh, a lot of people were very tough. I'm allowed to be. I'm always right. <laughs> the facts are there.